this book got me in a chokehold. And I know I'm not going to say this is a great book. I just am reading this line by line like, pop your shit. He said, Paul Copeland says it this way. Give him a mother who was beaten by her father. She'll do her the best she can to attack begrudgeoning manhood in her boys. I don't even know what begrudgeoning means. She'll look at powerful men with contempt and then use her verbal acumen to castrate young male souls. Therefore, thereby, she condemns the boy's manhood. When she criticizes his father, the boy will struggle with the belief that he's the fruit of a defective seed. Mm. Do y'all see? Do y'all see? I remember this woman got so upset with me and this is why y'all gotta chill out she came into a public space and asked a question but got mad at me for um responding the way that I responded because she was just like okay my husband has a receding hairline and I see that my son is you know going to have a receding hairline um something and she's like I'm not cooking my husband blah 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 and I don't know what her question was, but my response was, I don't have anything to offer in that respect, but make sure, you know, you're not cooking your husband in front of your son. And she's like, why would I even do that? And I was just like, I don't know what you would do, but you came into a public space. And what I know is that couples get on each other's head all the time. You know, like, that's, that's part of playful banter. But your son isn't going to necessarily internalize that playful banter. But if you're so defensive that no one can even enter the chat unless they enter the chat the way that you want them to, you will find yourself doing things that you don't even know you're doing, but you're too busy getting offended. To be like, is there ever a time that I am teasing my husband about something that my son can internalize? I need to pay attention to that. That's all I was saying, but she was she's too busy getting offended. If she's like, if you're just gonna be negative, you can go. I was just like, no, I was just trying to help you. But if you receive it as negativity, then good luck, kid. That's your mama. But you know, um, we just have to understand and take the responsibility of raising our sons way more seriously than we have in the past. It's it's just an absolute joy to be a boy mom it's an absolute joy to be a mother period but it's an absolute joy to raise these boys cognizantly aware of the fact that i am raising men it's beautiful you should try it yo i wanted to ask taking more seriously the task of raising boys is not babying them it's literally growing husbands growing fathers growing community members growing best friends growing them to their highest fucking potential and you cripple them by treating them like a fucking baby. We're not doing that. So when I say we need to take it more serious, you're like, Ugh, boys are already favored. They're favored and they're crippled. They're creating want nothing ass men. So what you're doing and what you think showering love and affection on your son is, that, that ain't it. That's crippling them. Make them as independent of you as possible. Teach them how to think and figure shit out for themselves, which means you have to learn how to think and figure shit out for yourself. Make sure you come down to one of my events, book one of my coaching sessions. I got you. But that's what I mean. Don't be playing. Stop playing with these babies' lives. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with your legacy. The book says that it is insulting to ask questions like, did you wash your hands? How long ago did you wash them? It says that would make me it's so dark want to respond with something along the lines of maybe or yesterday women get so wrapped up in running a household that they don't realize that they are that their questions are asking are questions you ask a kid not a grown man and i'm just like um why do I have to ask you questions unless you exhibit a history of behavior? Like I tell everybody in my house, I don't say something until I've observed you doing things multiple times. Anyway, y'all got to be stop being so damn sensitive. 
because you have deficits. You have fucking deficits. I have deficits, or she has deficits too, or they have deficits too. You both need to be okay with being redirected and corrected. One, because you are growing into each other, and we cannot grow into each other, bringing in bad habits from previous relationships, bringing in bad habits from our origin family. We have to develop our own set of rules in this relationship. Please stop nagging in the respect. Soon as a man moves, you're on him. Clock his ass. Watch him. Does he have a pattern of behavior? So when he says, you know, but uh, well, I'm saying something because I've noticed a pattern of behavior. This may be the first time he doesn't wash his hands. And he may be, you know, I'm about to hop in the shower. That's why you didn't hear the water run. And I think it's redundant to wash your hands and then get in the shower and wash your hands there. You know, I don't know. But there's a million reasons why he may not have done it this one time. So any type of situation, you want to clock it. That way, when you speak up on it, you say, no, there's a history there. So this isn't the first time. So either you're unaware that you're doing it or you're aware and it's not something that is something that's important to you. But it's something important to me. And since we're coupling together, how can we either find a compromise? I learn how to accept it or you adopt my behavior. But there needs to be something that we both can live with. So y'all got to stop feeling insulted. Because your mom raised you to the highest capacity of self that she could within her capacity of self. Her limitations are your limitations unless she taught you how to raise yourself, which most moms aren't doing. So you can't get upset if you align with the woman who inspires you to be your best version of yourself, which is what you should be seeking. That is soulmate connection, someone who can stir your soul and grow your soul and move you to your highest potential. I don't know what it is about her, but she don't cook, she don't clean, but she still got the ring. I don't know. When you align with the woman who defies societal standards of what a good mate is, but she makes you tick, that is a soulmate connection, and that is what you should be seeking. And in seeking that soulmate connection, now she's going to have to grow you to your highest potential. You grew yourself to your highest potential. Now you've aligned with someone who can take you to the next level together, but you have to allow and you have to stop getting insulted because she's pointing out areas. And in the beginning, it's going <coughs> and in the beginning it's going to be big stuff. It's going to be big stuff. But as you start clearing all those 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 big things off the list, you're like, choo, 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 choo. cake, 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 cake. What else you got? She's gonna start drilling down to little petty things. You guys call it petty. I don't have to mess with you about big stuff no more. You picked that up. Good job. But now let's start getting to the petty things. I want to live seamlessly with you, which means you're going to have to give me feedback, and your I'm going to have to give you feedback. And we got to stop getting offended. Yes, I'm talking to you like a child because I'm growing you. And yes, you're talking to me like a child. And I don't know why we think talking to somebody like a child is talking to them like this. No. Some people just take correction as talking to them like a child. But if you feel you got to talk like this to a man in order for them to get your point, or you got to talk to a woman like this in order for them to get your point, then you already hustling backwards. And you shouldn't be talking to a child like that anyway. It's unnecessary. Did that get results for you? Do you think it's getting results for your kids? These are the failures they put in place for us. We choose whether or not we're going to fall in the trap another day.